Hi, I'm Josh Taylor, Product Manager with Cable Express, and it's time for Cable Talk. Today we're going to talk about the differences between multi-mode and single-mode fiber. And first, let's talk about the physical differences. Single-mode almost always has a yellow jacket, especially when used inside a building. Now, multi-mode traditionally has an orange jacket, but more recently, it has an aqua jacket. There are currently four classifications for multi-mode. See Cable Talk number 16 for more information on this subject. Now let's talk about core sizes. Now that's where the actual data is transmitted over the core. Single mode has a much smaller core than multi-mode. See Cable Talk number 8 for a lot more information on multi-mode and single mode core sizes. Now let's talk about application differences. Using the larger core size of multi-mode fiber, it allows for the use of vexels, or vertical cavity surface emitting laser. This compared to a higher cost laser used in single mode transceivers. A good analogy here is a flashlight for multi-mode and a laser pen for single mode. For short distances, the broad beam of a flashlight is perfect. But if you need to reach out a long distance, the concentrated beam of the laser pen will go much further. Now cost is almost always an issue. And if cost weren't an issue, everybody would use single mode. And then your only problem would be, is my signal too strong? But the fact is that single mode channels cost an average of four times more than multi-mode channels. And that includes the electronics that drive the data. And that's the reason why most data centers use a multi-mode fiber optic infrastructure. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. For more information, visit us on www.cableexpress.com. Dot com. Respect layer one.